Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the mess in the background. While I have everything pulled apart, I'm gonna do another repot. I repotted this Chinese evergreen that you see back there. You can go check that video out if you wanna see how I did that. But this is what I'm gonna be repotting today. This is a curly palm. And this was again gifted to me um, by my dad. He got it from a friend who I don't know how long he had it, but it was outside. When my dad originally got it, it was all stems. He left it outside as well, and it re-sprouted. Since I've had it in, it's lost some of its um, some of its leaves, a lot of its leaves that it had when I first got it. I'll insert a picture here so you can see what it did look like. And as you can see, there's browning. Um, I've changed the watering habits. I've moved it to brighter light. It is putting out some new growth, but as you can see, it's doing a little bit of struggling. So I wanna get inside of here, see what's going on with the roots, um, get it repotted, and hopefully it will bounce back from there. Come over here, I have this terracotta pot for it. I hope it's big enough. Um, if not, then I'll have to return it and um, get something else. But as for right now, that's what I'm gonna be putting it in. So if you wanna see how I repot this, huge curly ponytail palm please stay tuned so as you can see i gently tipped it over and pressed down like this and loosen it up and you can see it is sliding out so it appears to be a solid root ball i'm going to clear some of that old dirt away and i'm going to put it in here to be um gotten rid of but just wanted you to see how it was sliding out this enormous root ball. This is some kind of sponge or something down there. I have to get that out. And I've already seen my first centipede, so there's definitely going to be creepy crawlies in here. But I just want you to look at that root ball. It's crazy. All right, so I got this a loose for the bottom. It's like felt or something. The only thing I can think is the previous owner put it down there to block the drainage holes, which I don't know why you would do that, but so that's out. And as you can see, we are work on getting this dirt out of here to see how much roots I'm dealing with to see if I'll fit in a pot I got. So as you can see, I've gotten all the old soil out. And I just want you to see how, I'll try to be gentle. I don't want to break the branches. Look how massive this trunk is. This this is the ball at the bottom of the trunk. Goes from here all the way down here to like a point. It's the, it's huge. I'll try to measure, but to give you an idea, like it, it's really big around, which is so cool. And you can see, like this is the main portion of the roof. This is where the water is stored. This is super heavy, by the way. And then you have these little roots coming out. So I just want to give you guys a close-up of that before I start the process of getting it into the pot. But I think that is definitely very cool. There was a lot of soil in here. This is all the soil that I took out. That's a big container. It's up to here. Um, really old, just kind of like blah soil. So. I'm gonna be swapping that out. I have some fresh soil here. And on the plus side, only one centipede crawled out of here. I was afraid it was gonna be all types of crazy stuff in here. But yeah, so there is that root ball and I will be back when I have it in the pot.